Hello and welcome back to Rara's Adventures. Please hit that subscribe button and notification bell, ding, as that really helps support what we are doing. Today we have come along to visit the Watercrest Railway Line. The Watercrest Line is a preserved steam railway in the heart of Hampshire running steam trains along 10 miles of rolling countryside. Fares give you all day travel so you can hop on and off at every station. As we go round we'll be sharing what accessibility they offer like getting on and off of the trains with a wheelchair, if they have hearing loops, parks and so on. But there is some information that, that I have found out just before our visit which I'd like to share with you. So dogs are also welcome and travel for free on the lines. Platform access, step less access available for entry to all platforms from the station building. Ramp access is in place to cross platforms at Eresford, Ropley and Medstead. Alton Station has a new footbridge with lifts crossing platform 1 and 2 with platform 3 for the waterline and junction. Quoted from the website so I give you the right information. Dementia friendly attraction. The railway has been dementia friendly since 2016 and we are proud to be making a positive difference to the quality of life for people with dementia and their carers. A number of our staff and volunteers are dementia friends and have received dementia awareness training. Our aim is to provide families and carers and people living with dementia a place where they can come and experience the joy of STEAM without the worry. We have two wheelchair accessible carriages our S4211 carriage operates on the Eridford set and can accommodate five to six visitors in wheelchairs with room for carers and tables to eat at. Our other wheelchair accessible carriage can accommodate two to three visitors in wheelchairs along with their carers with two tables to eat on and standard travel days. The adapted carriage is on the train departing Ellsford at 10.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. and departing Alton at 10.20 a.m. and 1.25 but please note this will be this will differ on special event days. All of our standard travel services are capable of carrying from two to six fixed wheelchairs in the break. Compartments via ramps at any of our stations. So let's go and have a look. We are starting Aylesford Station um, because this is where we chose to park. There are four stations to call out that we'll be sharing along the way. No. Aylesford Station is only a two minute walk from the High Street, beautiful Georgian market town lined with the independent shops and pubs and the home of the Hampshire's watercress industry. Browse our new museum upstairs in the old goods shed that has an expedition of Somerset and Dorset artefacts displayed. Check out our gift shop downstairs in the old goods shed selling fabulous gifts, stationery, toys, books and more, which we will be sharing. Or grab something delicious to eat or drink 
from our West Country buffet and the trains are running Tuesday to Sunday from February to September. Otherwise, simply watch the trains arriving and departing from our south facing picnic area and take a wonderful rural walk and explore the Watercrest Way or Millennium Trail. So the first locomotive we are on is the 506, which is the 30506 LSWR, Yuri S15 class, I hope that I've said that right, which was designed by Robert Yuri for the London and South Western Railway Purify as a fast fight engine, built in Eastleigh works and completed in 1920. It worked in many places including between London and the docks at Southampton. So now we're going to share a little bit of our journey. My hubby's moaning at me because I'm talking about a train and telling me to around. hurry up. So let's carry on then. So <laughs> train's turning around. We are currently at Alton Station and it's quick stop. Um, Alton Station is the eastern tip of the Watercrest line where we share the station with Southern Western Railway who uses platforms one and two. Before the London end of the station is one of our wagon group restoration bases and the railway's three steam cranes are also maintained here. On the platform we have a gift shop with model railway selling tickets, snacks and gifts which we are going to get in a minute a coffee. There are also several toilets here which are available at all stations so we are going to grab a cup of coffee jump back on the train and go to the next station
Mead and Fort Mark Station. So a typical country station it is smaller and more peaceful than our other stations through the steep and one in 60 gradients either side of the Medstand and Fort Marks. Marks Station are often described as going over the Alps. Visit a photo expedition in the waiting room illustrating the history and transformation of the station or view our good shed expedition delivering the goods all about goods handling on the railway. Alternatively, there are lovely walks from Meadstead Station to Alton through beautiful countryside where you can also see Jane Austen's house in Charlton Village. So that is a little bit more about Meadstead and the Four Mark Station. So we're going to go, uh, wait for the train to arrive, get back on the train and go to the next station where we're going to hopefully get a nice hot drink and something to eat for lunch and have a bit more explore. And I, I do believe there's a miniature station at the next place, which is Ropley. So I'm looking forward to getting back on the train and exploring a bit more. Let's go. We have just got off the train at Medstead and Full Marks because we want to have a little look around and show you what they got here. They haven't got loads here, but they have got this expedition ring which isn't massive, it's tiny, but it is a little bit of interaction that I want to share with you. So as you come off the train, you can come into these double doors here, which you could easily get a wheelchair into. With no, there's no step, there's a little bit of a lip, but there is no step. Um, and both doors were open when we came here. And then you've got some interactions over here. And you've got a nice high chair, as you can see. But um, it's got a high chair so it can reach these buttons. And then up here it tells you what to do. So press the number button below the screen for a particular photo show. The typical dur uh, duration is two minutes. So we'll pick a random button, number six. So number six is the MHR Preserved Wagons. So you press that. And it takes you to a photo, that's really cool. And then obviously press different photos and it will show you different pictures. So there is some interaction where it's really cool. And there's old like storage things as you can see from the photos that we show you. But another thing that I enjoyed, over here they've got again different bits, but here they have stopping, smoothing, vacuum parking, which is part of the train. Um, and it says the vacuum is created by steam locomotives ejected. Full vacuum and the brakes are fully released. No vacuum and the brakes are fully applied. Drivers use the vacuum brakes on the, on the set, along with the locomotive brakes to stop the train smoothly. The guard can apply the brakes in an emergency by dropping the handle to release the vacuum. So here, you can see there's a green button and there's a silver piece here. It says push the button, listen to the sound of air being sucked into the system. Now put your finger over here so you can feel the suction. So you hear it and then you can't. And then you can also see this move. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So it goes down, it goes up. So keep your finger there to try um, and try turning the wheel. So here you can turn the wheel. As you can see. Oh, it stopped. Um, so try turning the wheel, which it works. And then take your finger off the hole and try turning the wheel. Oh my god, you can't actually you can move it a little bit. That's quite cool actually. And turn. That's quite cool, isn't it? So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you some of the interactions they have here.
So we are at Ropley Station, a country station famous for its famous for its topiary, once housing only a small goods yard, it has now become the engineering hub of the Waterhouse line. Investigate our impressive engineering sheds and enjoy brand new interpretation displays in the viewing gallery and around the site. As part of the Heritage Lottery funded Candian and Pacific project and a preservation in action in the carriage workshop, visit the station building on the platform two, which houses a restored ticket office and a reputation of a typical station master's parlor and ride on our miniature railway, which we haven't done yet and we will be doing very soon by the way, which runs during every special event and every Saturday in April up to the end of October and is included free in your standard ticket. Finally, enjoy a picnic in the orchid and walk in Harry Potter's footsteps over the railway footbridge where he received his Hogwarts Express ticket. The King's Cross Bridge is now here in Ropley. So we are now going to investigate the miniature railway and also have a look down round Ropley and share some of their interactions and what they have to show. So we go explore a little bit more. Let's go. We are in the viewing gallery and there are some interactions which I just want to share with you. We come across this little um, puzzle and it starts making a noise as you start doing it. Oh well, it did a minute ago. But it's just nice to see that there were some fun interactions about train. It tells you that this bit is a fire box and you know you got to find the right bit in the right way and then come over here and there's a few more and you put that in and, and that bit is a, a bow no it's a piston it's a piston that is the bow there you go and now it starts making a noise i just want to share this with you and now i'm going to take it all out for the next person like so we found another little one i love this i feel like a child again so it's this one says press the green button to start the air use the handle to slide the valve from side to side this will let you let you send the air uh, to press on one side of the piston and then the other you can make the wheel turn continuously oh no can you make the wheel turn continuously and can you make it go round the other way? So we're gonna have a go, I think. And then here, they open up doors and 
they light up. I tell you bits about the train. First class travel, third class travel, the differences. <coughs> Ladies waiting room. I'm not going to read all this because we need to come and visit and uh, explore. Okay, so this train, before we catch before it run away, is the train 41312 LMS, in fact class 2MT. Nicknamed Mickey Mouse Tanks because of the route indicator, this either side of the smoke box that then looked like is. This train was built at the crew works and designed by HG Infast in 1952. Spent her whole working career on the southern region and her last three months were spent at Nine Ls acting as a station shunter for Waterloo. She was finally withdrawn from service in July 1967. This train is the 53808SDJR number 887F. This train was built in 1925 at the Darlington Locomotive, works by Robert Stevenson. And hey, this train was in regular service with the West Somerset Railway until 2019. It spent all of its life based in one shed at Bath, Green Park, mainly working local goods trains between in Bath and Evercrin Junction, which involved a steep climb over the Mendip Hills in both directions. In the post-war period, it was also used to hold some of the summer Saturday holiday trains to and from the north, working between Bath and Bournemouth. So, we found Thomas, we did. He's behind me. <laughs> so, I thought we'd stop and talk about Thomas the Tank Engine. I remember watching Thomas Tank Engine as a child, and uh, he does special events, don't you know? I'll leave the links down below. So let me share some information about Thomas the Tank Engine. Built at Island of Zoda Works in 1945, designed by Sir Tophan Hat. The last train today, especially for our young viewer and kids at heart, of course. Like myself, my hubby is pointing at me, rude. So Thomas is the number one blue engine. He is a cheeky little engine who often gets into scrapes, usually by being over eager to do things best left to bigger and more sensible engines. Sounds just like me. But clouds never last long in Thomas's world and soon he's blustering about again, playing his part in the yard on his own branch line. Thomas works hard and he always strives to be a really useful engine. Beep beep. So that is my sharing of Thomas, which I have quoted from the website, but obviously added a little bit of me inside that. So now we're going to carry on. So we have come to the end of our day visiting Watercrest Railway. Uh, we had a brilliant day today visiting them and seeing what they have to offer for adults, children with visible and invisible disabilities. They have put 
uh, a lot of interaction things in for adults and children. They have ramps, as you'll see throughout the video, for getting on and off the train. Um, and they also, at this station that we're at, Ellsford, which is where we've just come off, they have a museum upstairs which also has a stair lift going up, which is brilliant. So they have got things in place. Um, also, if you've got any concerns, you can call them up for your visit to find out if, if there's something that you're not sure about, phone them up and they will let you know what they do and don't offer. Um, so we've had a lovely day here and I hope that you've really enjoyed watching the film and I'd like to say a massive thank you for Hubby for coming with me to do all the filming and being the donkey carrying the camera bag um, a big thank you to Watercrest Railway for letting us come along today to visit and thank you to all you for subscribing and supporting the channel and if you haven't already please give us a thumbs up and subscribe as that really helps put what we are doing. So, I like, so thank you again and we look forward to seeing you again very soon with more Rara's pictures. Take care and lots of love. Bye.